The last piece of this puzzle that we need to, to finish for this installation is the mounting of the actual receiver itself. This is our Topcon EGS2 receiver and we're going to be mounting it today on top of the cab of our 6155 utilizing the SDF mounting bracket. The SDF mounting bracket comes as a kit but it comes in three separate pieces. You have your main bar here, then you have your, your mounting plate which sits on top and all this bolts down with supplied hardware from SDF. And then finally you have the actual receiver mounting plate itself. This is where the AG has two mounts to and then it all bolts on to the receiver. So once you mount your AGS2 to the bracket using the four supplied bolts, you'll have something that looks just like this. And all of this sits down on top of two studs here. And the very critical at this point, make sure you use the lock nuts to mount your receiver to the bracket. This prevents these thumb screws from backing off, which prevents any unwanted movement in the AGS-2, which helps maintain accuracy as you're going through the field. So it's just a simple matter of making sure all the bolts and hardware are tight. Just like this. This unit is assembled, then it's time to take it up to the top of the tractor. We'll take this back apart just for easy demonstration. This piece actually bolts onto the top of the, the tractor cab using the front hinge bolts of the sunroof itself. So to mount this, you just simply take off the factory nuts that are on, that are on the uh, front hinge of the sunroof and you replace it with the supplied studs that fit down in there. And that allows you to sit this bar on top, two nuts on each side, put your receiver on here, tighten everything down. And then the last thing you need to do is plug in your 12 pin Deutsch connector to the back of the receiver and you're ready to power everything up and then start your calibration processes. To complete the install on our 6215 here, last part of the picture is our receiver. We're going to use our STF mount here to firmly mount our receiver to the tractor. This is available through STF and it mounts to the front hinge of our sunroof here. So everything's nice, secure, tight, doesn't move. Simple installation, line the dog ear tabs up. We set it down on the studs and then using the supplied thumb screws, make sure everything's tight and no excess rotation or vibration. And then we move on to the last of our harnessing install. So we have our stub cable here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the torque screws off this black plastic cap on the front of our cab. So once you get this cap pulled down a little bit, you will find actually two Deutsch connectors in here. The one that we're gonna be looking for will have a, a white plastic tag that, that says antenna. Once we find that one, then we're gonna take our socket here. And we're gonna go ahead and make this connection. There again, once we hear the clicks, we'll pull back a little bit, make sure we got a good tight sealed connection. And then now we're ready to attach our receiver with the 12 pin Deutsch connector which is just simply plugged into the back of our receiver here on top of the cab. All right, now we're ready to put our mounting screws back in our plastic cap here. A couple of zip ties to hold our harnessing in place. And this installation's done. Now we're ready to take the tractor outside and do the, and do the initial setup and calibrations.